This episode of In an Instant is powered by Wasabi. Get 15% off camera batteries with promo code INSTANT. I'm Daryl, and this is Manila In an Instant. The Manila film photography scene is a bustling artist community of creatives, innovators, and activists, using film to tell stories in a city of wide streets and narrow corridors. Subjects are often contradictions of the old and modern world, and we're here to see how people end up with film in their pockets and cameras in their hands. On the way, we'll meet some of the people who bring the art to reality and the community to life. So join me as we learn more about Manila in an instant. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to the Elder Street. This historic street in Capo Manila has been around since the 1800s. Here you'll find everything. Mosques and churches, sports cars and garbage pickers, it's quintessential in every aspiring Manila photographer's journey as its streets, just beyond the fruit vendors and barkers, are lined with camera stores. You can buy film and digital cameras here. You can bring your grandpa's camera and get it repaired next to the newest Sony Alphas. This is our first stop because for many, this is their first stop. It's where I found my first real camera. I remember the thin glass plane separating thousands of dollars worth of film equipment from the masses. It's here where we'll find a camera that will be our vehicle in this journey of film. So, here it is. This is the Canon QL17. It took a lot of effort and I think I smell kind of like fish right now, but here we are. It's a 40 millimeter lens f1.7 if you know what it is you know what it is it's the poor man's leica it's an excellent start to what this is going to be so now let's get some film buying film in manila is not as straightforward as it is anywhere else very few physical stores actually sell film outright and if they do it flies off the shelves or it's priced to oblivion some places like film folk do have a physical presence in their partner location, Satchmi's physical store. But the vast majority is sold online. But sometimes, you'll have events like Handurawa. This event, sponsored by Film People PH, brings together various online shops into one space. It's a mix of retro chic and nerdy culture. Keyboards, Game Boys, films, cameras, anything you want. Events like this help galvanize the community. And it's one of the first events to come out right out of the pandemic. Hello, we're here in the University of the Philippines, a bastion of arts, sciences, and activism with two local artists, Dene Afuang and Namego. We're also here with their mascot, Robin Anupol. <laughs> From curiosity, it was kind of like a pretentious thing going in but then I fell in love with it. The uh, spirit of it is really just doing what you want, not being conformed into an idea because uh, whatever you take, you can't recreate. It's all in the moment. So there's a lot of organic substance <laughs> being captured in a single frame. I think art in the Philippines now is divided. There's one aspect which is you can have access to different kinds of forms and you can do m multiple disciplines in one of your pieces. But at the same time, if you are an artist who wants to participate in the political climate and you are aware of the level of access towards those kinds of medium na hindi traditional, it's gonna be tricky, even dangerous for community artists especially, but they are the ones who actually, if we're talking about Philippine art, they're the ones who's making it alive. Photography or film photography in general, I'm not sure if it's increasing or not because prices keep on increasing and in this third world country, 
it's really much more noticeable compared to the States where you have local producers. All in all, these film photographers actually, if they want to grow their audience, they can't just stick with film. Are you currently broke? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> but it's enough for me to not shoot exclusively on film. I want the next few years to look like my childhood where everybody has their own photo <laughs> like a book. scrapbook yeah <laughs> but that's just me i think in general it's hard to say where it's going hi my name is jerome my friends call me michael i'm a film photographer from the philippines i started out with digital because of the convenience i was in the habit of just snapping away with my phone, with my digital camera, and when I got home, I wasn't happy with any of the shots. I might get one or two uh, that I'd be happy with, but the film at least forced me to take up that discipline of really thinking about what I wanted to capture. When I started film, after a month or two, I wanted to develop my own. Uh, I started with black and white. I learned from Jay Javier. Uh, I went to one of his workshops. I stayed there five hours past the time and he was just hands-on, taught me everything I know now, at least for the process in processing. And I picked up many other things from other photographers too. When I started doing film in 2016, I slowly gathered the materials. But then the pandemic hit and it took me until early 2020 to be able to complete my darkroom setup. I've been printing ever since. I got my stuff from different photographers in the Philippines, Lawrence, Brian Kong, and a few pieces I got from abroad. It's definitely still growing. While it slowed down because of how expensive film has gotten, there really is a market for it and a community that's willing to learn and willing to grow. Some have taken up going back to hybrid film and digital, going back to those handy cams, but at least the desire is there to create and to take photos, to take videos, and incorporate the, the analog feel of it. Now, even if they're using digital, they're trying to shoot like as if it was film. Try and make mistakes. It's the nature of the hobby. You won't get your perfect role, but the process and the process of making mistakes will teach you a lot and hopefully that the prices of film right now won't deter you from entering into the hobby. The community is just very helpful. Don't be afraid to ask questions. They will gladly be there to help you out. This small camera produces more than just pictures. It's an experience on tactility, craftsmanship, patience, and more. The pictures we took probably won't win awards, but it is a reminder of this entire experience. It's a tool to make physical memories and we created a ton through this whole journey. I started film photography in college. I found this camera in my grandfather's stuff and I fixed it. And that's what I've been using since then. For a lot of film photographers in the Philippines, that's how they get started. They find a camera in the Japan Center or Japan Surplus Store, or in Hidalgo where we found this one, or in their like grandparents' things. And they just get it fixed, and there you go. For a lot of photographers in the Philippines, um, photography is how they find their identity, and their art finds identity in film. They have a chance to express their desires and, and, and opinions, and they use photography as a way to expose the injustices that we see in this country. For me, it's always been about connecting to my past, getting into this thing that my grandfather and my father were into, and as a way to see the present. So I hope that this has been a way for you to see Manila in a different light. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. You've been watching In An Instant. This has been Daryl, Ajo behind the camera. Thanks for watching.